Okay, I got a kite needle right here, folks. Happy Sunday fun day. For us, it means Sunday seed day. We've got a lot to do. We've got to transplant the plants in the greenhouse and start our fall crop garden. Yes, it is already time to plant the fall crops. Can you believe that, guys? Oh, hey, are you gonna help me? Oh, that's wonderful, thank you very much. So inside our greenhouse, we got all these plants that need to be transplanted today. And then we're gonna start a whole nother batch of seeds for the fall. Or they are doing absolutely wonderful. There's acorn squash, butternut squash, and a few corns that managed to make it, but we're not counting on that. Look, this tomato plate is killing it in here in this greenhouse. And that squash, that volunteer squash, it's taking over. And this is seed. Yeah, and then we have this volunteer squash too out here. It's doing pretty good. Hey, beauty. Okay, so we're going to finish our job over here. Okay. We're laying down the cardboard. We can do one row. We, we'll finish that row and then let's do one more. You think? Okay. Think we need that many or I don't, I think we do. I think, or we, maybe we should measure and count because I'd hate to build another row and not even need it. Yeah. Well, let's count right here. This is the same spacing. So how many do we have in a row? There's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, so let's go count how many we have. Okay. 2, oh 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15. <laughs> we have 15 in one tray, so we need to do two. Yeah. Two rows. Two rows it is. We got the farm crew here. Every time we go somewhere, guaranteed, somebody will say, you got your hands full. But you know what, sometimes they also say, oh, you got your whole crew, you got your whole basketball team here. And I'll say, well, no, we got our whole farm crew. Look, the whole farm crew is here and ready to go. You wanna help mama put down the cardboard, please? Okay, thanks. Okay guys, each of you carry one of these trays. Okay. Here you go, Jonah. We're gonna carry those trays, tray of plants over there. One tray for each boy, that's convenient. What are you doing, honey? I am just getting a couple of these plants up because they're just right in the way. Almost made it to the end here, so we're just gonna pull up the cardboard where we didn't make it. And just let this grow. Okay, now it's time for mulch. I'll haul you mulch, you'll put it on. Sound good? Sounds great. Hey, Papa. Oh. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the help. Now it's time for the mulch. Okay guys, mom had to go inside, do some things. I need you guys to fill up this wheelbarrow while I'm emptying the other one, okay? okay. Can you do that? Yeah. You think you can keep up? 
Okay. Okay, here we have it finished. Hands up. Hop, we're done. Good job, guys. Look, I'm not even halfway done, so you're keeping up with me. Just rest easy there. Don't run off, and I'll give you this wheelbarrow. Okay guys, we're about halfway putting the mulch up. We got one more strip. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. It's already like 10 o'clock. I'd hoped to have been done by 9.30 with everything, planting seeds. You see the chickens? Is that what you wanna see? See the mama hen and her chicks? Okay, so the beautiful one's watering. This wood chips, well this, uh, you wanna wet the cardboard so that it would begin the decomposition process. And we wet the wood chips for the moisture, it's, and it just feels right, yeah. right? It just feels good to water this, it right? It does, it's fun. Weighs it down too, looks good, it's just fun, there's something satisfactory about it. You know these plants are stressed out in the move, so it's good to give this them some boost. Good. Down there, they're looking a little... Let me show you the stress, see how they wither off? Those over there uh, withered down and the bugs attacked them, but they came back real strong. Have you noticed anything about this particular garden area? Yeah, we didn't amend it or nothing and it's doing better. It's doing much better than our, our front yards. And that's partly because we've had, the, when I was sick and the height of it, I had the chickens here for a year. I was doing the compost corner on steroids. So there was a lot of compost in this area. And so it's just doing really well. It had a lot of uh, nitrogen from the chickens being here a long time and it had all this compost and it's just absolutely jamming on its own. So happy about this area. So what is that teaching me? If I want more insurance uh, to establish a garden bed area, just to, to have the chickens till, fertilize, and build up compost. I think there was probably at least two to four inches of compost on this, and it's just doing great. One more load. One more load will do it, back. Yeah. All right, I gotta go get it. Yes, we are done. It took quite a bit longer than I thought or hoped. It's 10.30, not gonna have time to plant seeds. We gotta go inside, we're hobbits. We gotta eat, it's time for second breakfast. Okay, look here, we got some special vlog fans here today. Just came by and saw us local, local people. You actually recognize some of the spots in our film, right? Yes. Cause you're only like six miles down the road or something. Yes. So they emailed up, they've scheduled a time to come and do crafts. Let's see what you've made there. Wow. Nice. So they're keeping the chiddlers occupied. What's it feel like to be here, gentlemen? Wow. I think I'm dreaming, but I don't know if I'm dreaming or not. <laughs> You're really here. Yeah, that's because she's she's really here. And she's seen it so much on, on YouTube that it's hard to believe that she's actually in this kitchen. Then you guys want to be the apron wearers too? I just remembered. Mr. Yes. Oh, look, they got aprons. Hey, that's Oh, oh good. You gotta always wear your aprons when you're working. That's right. Oh, this one is yours. I'm sorry. Yes. Don't want to mess up your nice clothes. Too. Oh, good. These are cool little aprons. You guys make those? No. Okay. We don't make, we don't make aprons. Um, okay. Ivy and Mr. Brown have connected. He You've connected really, with him? He really likes her. <laughs> oh, good. Why don't you he go? He was playing with yeah, her. I really like Lily. Look, I saw these huge Japanese beetles. And I just had to catch them, especially since all these chiddlers are here. These are a bigger version. I gotta show you something we did with these when we were a kid to have a lot of fun. You guys wanna see this? You guys wanna see a really cool trick with these big beetles? First, some thread. Okay, I got the beautiful one to help me. If you can see what's going on here, I'm gonna catch one of these beetles and we're gonna tie that thread around its neck. Not gonna hurt it. Oh my gosh, this is so gross. We gotta get it around their legs, no, right? No, just his head. Uh-oh, Perfect. Ah. Hmm. Oh, how in the world we managed to get... Oh my gosh! Perfect. Ooh. Okay, y'all ready? Yes. Yeah. We are ready. Oh. oh. no. Okay, guys, watch this. Watch this. Oh. It's just gonna wiggle a little, baby. Just hold it. Don't squish it. Just don't let it fly on me. Dear okay. God, help us! I pray. Oh. I can't. Where did you go? Back. 
Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I want it. A beetle kite. A beetle kite. Oh, Jaina. Jaina. All right, okay, here you we ready go. to set him free? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Of course he goes to you. Now you got a kite. You got a beetle kite. Okay, done with the beetle kite. Hey, I want to make sure that no everybody knows nobody was hurt in that. I'm actually going to set these guys free. Just a little awareness for the kiddos. And this is how I found them. Bye-bye.